Welcome to the second episode of Music Lessons with Mr. Gear. Today's lesson is going to be about macro beats and micro beats. First, I'm going to teach you what a beat is and how that's different than a rhythm. Then I'm going to teach you the difference between macro beat and micro beat. Then I'm going to teach you a new song. And in that new song, I'm going to teach you how to feel the macro and the micro beat. Let's get started. Hit the intro. Beethoven, what, what, what do you want this time? Oh, a challenge? Beethoven's challenge for you today is make a prediction. Which kind of musician and which instrument needs to be a master of these macro beats and micro beats? At the end, I'm going to give you the answer. Now, hit the, hit intro. the intro. <laughs> Let's start off by describing what a beat is and how that's different than a rhythm. A good way of thinking about beat in music is comparing beat to a heartbeat. In the way that you can check your heart's pulse, a beat in music is also sometimes called the pulse. Like a heartbeat, a beat or a pulse in music is steady. Let me show you what I mean by steady beat. This is a metronome. If I open up this metronome, you will see a long metal bar, a weight, and some numbers. By moving the weight up and down, I can change the number that the weight is on. The higher the number, the faster the beat. Beats can be slow, fast, or anything in between. That's tempo, and we learned about that last time. But no matter what number I put it on, that beat will always be steady. It won't change speed in the middle of it. It will stay the same beat no matter what. Steady. You may have noticed that it was easy to follow along or play along with the bar on the metronome. That's because when a beat is steady, it's predictable, easy to follow, and it doesn't change. Now let me show you an example of something that is not a beat and that will be extremely hard to follow. Give it a try at home, see if you can follow along. If you hear something that is not steady, unpredictable, and hard to follow, it is not a beat. To find a beat in a song, there's a number of things you can do. You can tap your toe. You can tap your finger or your hand. You can bob your head. That's all right. Or you can count to that song. Just make sure that your tapping, bobbing, or counting is steady. That's the beat. Let's talk about the two different types of beats in a song. The first beat that I'm going to teach you about is macro beat. Macro beat is the large, long beat that you feel in a song. The second kind of beat is called the micro beat. The microbeat is a small, short beat that you feel in a song. Ready, go. Some people prefer to feel the long, large beat, the macro beat, and some people prefer to feel the small, short beat, the micro beat. But both of them exist in the song. This next part you can try at home. I'm going to use the first verse of a song called Great Big House in New Orleans to teach us how to feel the macro beat and the micro beat. Start by just listening to the song. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Next, I want you to lift up onto your toes and then back onto your heels and feel the big macro beat of the song. Ba ba ba, and here we go. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in 
filled with pumpkin pie. Next, I'd like you to pat your lap with your hands. I want you to feel the microbeat of the song. Ba, 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 and here we go. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Now don't be discouraged if you can't do this next part. It takes a lot of practice, but I want you to try and land on your heels in the macro beat and tap your lap to the micro beat at the same time. Ba, 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 and here we go. Great big house in New Orleans. So I think I understand beat now, but but what's a rhythm? Rhythm is a pattern using any combination of you? macro beats and micro beats. Who is that? How did you get in my house? For example, one of the most common rhythms that we hear in music is one macro beat, followed by another macro beat, followed by two micro beats, and ending with one more macro beat. And that rhythm sounds like this. Ba, 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 ba. Bah. Let's do a quick review of all of the things that we've learned in this video. A beat, just like a heartbeat, is something that is steady, doesn't change, predictable, and is easy to follow. There are two kinds of beats that we learned about. The macro beat, which is a large, long beat, and the micro beat, which is a small and short beat. Rhythms, on the other hand, use macro beats and micro beats to create unique patterns of sound. And now for the answer to Beethoven's challenge. Which instrument requires you to have a mastery of macro and micro beats? The answer? The drum set! Both the bass drum and the hi-hat were steady. One was the macro beat, the other was the micro beat. A really good drummer can play different rhythms using different parts of their body at different times on all the different pieces of a drum set. Kind of like this. <laughs> 